One of the most powerful tools you have in your online business is the ability to take people from your free content and put them on your email list. There's a couple ways you can do this. One way is really effective and one way is not effective. And today we're gonna to talk about the way that is effective and that is by using lead magnets. My name's Lane, this is my channel. I like to help people who are aspiring entrepreneurs, self-publishing authors, to get their message out and make a great income doing it. If that kind of thing interests you, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. So let's talk about lead magnets. What is a lead magnet anyway? Essentially all that it is, is it's a way of offering people to go further with you and your content in a way that they can't get in any kind of public forum. So let's say you have a YouTube channel like this and you give content for free. Maybe you're teaching people how to do something and your content is good and it's regular and it's free and you're thinking, okay, this is great, but I really want to sell courses. I wanna have a membership site. I wanna go further with people and for those who wanna go deeper with my material, I wanna make it easy for them. Maybe you're like a lot of YouTubers and you're thinking, hey, you know what? The ad revenue is hit or miss. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. I can't really depend on that. It's nice, but I would much rather treat that like icing on the cake and have real actual customers and clients. So the question is, how do you get those customers and clients? You get them by offering a lead magnet. So what is a lead? A lead is a potential customer. That's what a lead is. So if you're in kind of normal brick and mortar business or you're selling insurance or whatever, then a lead would be someone who you suppose is going to buy your product at some point. And then what is a magnet? Well, an, a, ma a magnet is some, something that attracts something, right? Like a, a magnet attracts, I guess, I guess it could also repel, but it attracts, right? So what is a lead magnet then? It's just something that attracts leads to your business. So if you're doing online content, you have a podcast, you have a blog, you have a YouTube channel, you can use lead magnets. And basically what they are is a way of saying, hey, if you want to go further with me, if you want to go deeper with this material, then I want to offer you this thing for free. Your lead magnet could be a PDF guide. That's what I like to do, where it's a, it's a written guide that helps you do something. I have one that helps people write books. I have another one that helps people make their first $500 online. Those are the two lead magnets that I currently have for this business. And what that does is it offers people, like if I'm doing a video on writing books, I'm gonna offer my book lead magnet. I say, hey, I wanna give you something for free. You can download my five-step guide to writing a number one best-selling book. My book was a number one bestseller in its category on Amazon, my first book. So I wanna show you how I did that. So go to lanesebring.com slash five steps. And then I offer that link. When someone goes to that link, they're taken to a landing page, all done through Kajabi, which by the way, I highly recommend. <laughs> Kajabi is awesome. It makes all this stuff super easy to do. They put in their name, they put in their email, and then they are emailed that guide, the five-step guide to writing a number one best-selling book. So that's a win for them because they were able to just go from watching a YouTube video on how to write a book or how to publish a book or how to make a book cover to getting a complete like 17 page guide that is gonna walk them through step by step the entire process of writing and publishing a book. So it's a value add for them and it's also a massive value add for me because what I got from that exchange was something incredibly valuable in the world of online business and that is their email address. And this is all very upfront. When they put in their name and email, there's a little thing that says you're subscribing to weekly updates from me. So I'm gonna to continue to provide you with valuable free content. So they can unsubscribe anytime they want. That's totally up to them, but most people will stick around. And if the guide is really helpful or the lead magnet, whatever it was, was really helpful, the free content's really helpful, then they tend to be more open to what else you have to give. And then eventually when I release a course or I release a membership site or some other product, I have a list of people to sell it to that are leads. And in this case, they're warm leads because they've opted in, they've chosen to go deeper with me. So it's a really, really valuable component of your online business. 
If somebody comes to watch one of your YouTube videos or gets on your blog and reads it or listens to your podcast, and they might get a lot out of it, they might think it's really great, they might think you're really talented, but if they walk away and they never have any way to connect with you further other than maybe subscribing or maybe liking, the chances of them just forgetting that you exist entirely are very high. But if you can get them on your email list, it changes everything, and you do that through lead magnets. So let's talk about what lead magnets need. Before we get into lead magnets, I mentioned at the first of this video that I was going to tell you two ways. One was effective, one was ineffective. Here's the ineffective way. The ineffective way to get people on your email list is to say, hey, join my newsletter. Sign up for my newsletter. This might have worked in 2002 when people were like, hey, I love getting emails. I think it's fun to get email. You got mail. 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 And they may have signed up for your newsletter back then. However, those days are long gone. No one wants your newsletter. What they want is something that's going to help them. And a lead magnet will demonstrate that it's helping them. And that's why I want to get into what makes a good lead magnet. The first thing is your lead magnet has to have a compelling title. And this is because when you talk about it, whether it's a guide or you made a video that's exclusive, it's not posted on YouTube, or it's an ebook, or it's some kind of checklist that will help them, you know, the 17 ways to make sure that your YouTube video is ready to upload, whatever it is, it has to have a compelling title. One of my lead magnets for Preaching Donkey, my other brand, is the 21 Day Guide to Creating Killer Sermons. When I first made that lead magnet, I just called it 21 Day Guide to Better Sermon Prep. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, okay, what is really intriguing about better sermon prep? Why would I just want to be better? I want to, I want to make a sermon that's amazing, that's life-changing. And I have a book called Preaching Killer Sermon, so I just went with that naming function, and I just said 21 Day Guide to Creating Killer Sermons. And that, that lead magnet has been downloaded thousands of times, and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it has a compelling title. Five Step Guide to Writing a Number One Best Selling Book. That's specific enough to say, hey, I'm not just going to show you how to write and publish any book. I'm going to show you what I did to make my book a number one bestseller in its category on Amazon. So you want to think about what is a compelling title that's really intriguing and irresistible to the people that are watching your video or listening to your YouTube channel. They're, they're going, hey, I have to have that because, man, if this video was that good, that lead magnet is probably amazing. The second thing you want to do in your lead magnet is deliver a quick win. Right? When somebody downloads a lead magnet, depending on how long it is, how many pages, if it's a video, you have to assume that they may not have the time in that moment to read the whole thing, to watch the whole video. So if you can put something in their hands that immediately delivers a win, almost instantaneously, where they got it, they put something into practice right away, and they were able to go do it and get some results, then all of a sudden when they think about you, they think about your brand, they match it up with results. And that's what you want because you want to build that trust. That if they're going to go the extra step with you and give you their email address, what you're giving them is going to be incredibly valuable and it's going to deliver a win. So one way to do this is don't make your lead magnet super, super long. I mentioned that I have one that's 17 pages. Honestly, that's too long. It ended up being 17 pages because that's what I promised in, in there that I was going to show them the whole process. So it just ended up being that long. But to be honest, 17 pages is a bit much for a lead magnet. So my next lead magnet, I really shoved it down to the essence and it's about five or six pages. That's my lead magnet called the super simple guide to your first $500 online. So you want to really just make sure that it's condensed enough where people can consume most, if not all of it, and get a quick win. And then the third thing you want is a clear promise. What are they going to get out of your lead magnet? What is the specific result that they're going to get? When you say, hey, listen, download my lead magnet. I want you to see it. It's awesome. What is the promise that you're delivering and why does it matter? If you've got those three things where it's got a compelling title, it's, it's intriguing, it delivers a quick win, and it has a clear promise, you're going to be well on your way to people 
accepting the invitation to download that lead magnet and go the next step with you. I want you to check out my lead magnet. I usually never call it that because I'm only calling it that because we're doing a video on lead magnets, but I want you to see how this is done. So go to lanesebring.com slash super simple. And in that lead magnet, you're gonna see how to make your first $500 online. I'm actually gonna give you the six most essential steps. If you're like, hey, I wanna get started making money online. I don't know where to start. This guide is for you. And it will also show you how to structure a lead magnet. So go to lanesebring.com slash super simple and get that there. You can also check out this playlist where I go into more about passive income and all the strategies that I use to have seven different sources of passive income. So click right there. I'll see you in that playlist on passive income and I will see you in the next video.